Hello and welcome to another tips and tricks video from Switch. My name is Cam and in this particular video, we're going to cover something interesting that's only available in macOS Sierra 10.12. What's so special about it? It's unlocking your Mac with an Apple Watch. If you want to find out how we do it, stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, what you're seeing now is our latest demo Mac that I prepared, and I'm using a few teaching aids as with all my previous videos. From time to time, you'll see me zooming in, zooming out to focus your attention on certain parts of the screen. Also, from time to time, you can see feedback on the screen showing me and you what am I clicking. So, the purpose of this video is to explain to you how you can use the Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. Now, there are some requirements. So first thing first, in order to even get your Mac to be unlocked by the Apple Watch, you can go to Apple support site and we will provide the link so it's easy for you to read it yourself. But in short, you need to have the Apple Watch running the latest version of watchOS 3. You need to have, obviously, your iPhone, <laughs> otherwise Apple Watch doesn't work. And your iPhone needs to have run the latest version of iOS 10. And your Mac needs to be a newer Mac. If possible, anything from 2014, you're safe. Anything from 2013, you have to make sure it's specifically between mid-2013, and you have to check properly, running OS 10 Sierra 10.12. Once everything you have is prepared, your Mac, your iPhone, your Apple Watch are updated, you need to make sure that your Apple ID is using two-factor authentication. Now, what is two-factor authentication? Let me click on the next support site, and again, we'll provide the link. Two-factor authentication is available for iCloud Apple ID user, and there are some requirements as well. So essentially, if your Mac, your iPhone, your Apple Watch all running the latest version of OS, you can turn on two-factor authentication. And when you have two-factor authentication, what it does is that you always send a code to another of your device to confirm that you want to do something that involves security. So two-factor authentication, here's a screenshot. Again, we will provide you a link. There are three links here. Notice that whenever your phone is trying to do something, your iPad will show you saying some device needs to be allowed. It will be something like that and you'll work on iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, even on a Mac. This has to be turned on in order for your Mac to be unlocked by your Apple Watch. So please read the links we provided, turn on your two-factor authentication. The steps involved requires you to make sure that you go to your system preferences. Let me show you. You go to your iCloud. I'm going to go to my account detail. Uh, my colleague, Calvin, will be erasing some of the details here. And I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you security. So if this is the first time that you have clicked on this page for security, it will say two-factor authentication is off and you will have a button where my mouse is moving where you have to turn it on. When you click on it, just follow the steps. You might need to enter a phone number. You might need to do a few things. Just follow the steps. Enable your two-factor authentication. I want to set some expectation. You might need a few tries to get it right, because if you're not familiar, you'll be a little tough, but trust me, read the support guides, read the support materials, you won't get lost. Once you're done over here, you can even double check and confirm by going to appleid.apple.com, and you can see that it says, your two-factor authentication has been turned on. Once that's all confirmed, that you have activated two-factor authentication is on, your devices are all updated, the last part, Go to System Preferences on your Mac. Go to Security and Privacy. And just do this. Allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. Okay? So when you check this, that's it. It shouldn't work just instantaneously. Sometimes you see it spinning. There will actually be an icon on the side say that, oh, it's now trying to turn it on. And you'll give you some error messages. It could be you need to key in the password again on your iPhone. Maybe your Apple Watch is not turned on. There are a lot of normal error messages. If in doubt, here's a tip. Turn off everything. Turn off your Mac, turn off your iPhone, turn off your Apple Watch. Start them all back up again. 
come back to this system preferences, check this and uncheck it again. That's all. So if you do that, you just need to key in the password for your Mac. And I'm showing you what it looks like. You can see there's a turning on message over here. That's it. It's ready. Let me demonstrate to you how it works. Okay, so now my colleague is going to record and show what I'm going to show you right now is the Apple Watch unlocking action. So if the camera can focus over here, you can see that my Mac is now on. So what I've done is that I've set the Mac to go to sleep and lock the Mac once I close the lid. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually going to close the lid. Okay, so you can see the light goes off. It's now in sleep mode. Now, the most important thing is you have to make sure that you're wearing the Apple Watch. Okay, it's already unlocked, it's paired to your iPhone. That's all. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth must be on. Your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, they all must be on. On the Mac, on the watch, on the iPhone. All of it must be on. It's part of the requirements for continuity, but let me just set that aside. The focus now is on unlocking. So, if everything is all right, you turn on the settings and system preferences, your watch is on, phone is on, all you need to do, just open up the lid while wearing the Apple Watch. And the screen will say, unlocking with Apple Watch, and that's it. And the watch, we have a response, it says that my Mac is unlocked, locked by this Apple Watch, and it's already unlocked it. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to close the lid, light is off, okay, it's off. Again, I just open it up, it says unlocking Apple Watch, and that's it. And my watch has a thing saying that it's unlocked by this Apple Watch. It's as simple as that. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen how you can use the Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. Keep in mind, you need a Mac which is as recent as possible, if you're okay with it, a model that's 2014 onwards, even though some selected model from 2013 will work. You will need the latest updated software on your Apple Watch. And obviously, you need to have an iPhone with the updated iOS 10 as well. With all these three devices together, you will be able to have a seamless experience that just works, unlocking the Apple Watch on the Mac. So please to support us on social media. If you find this useful, like us, subscribe to us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, so on and so forth. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ken from Switch and goodbye.